Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I'm going to show you a little UI example for being able to create drop downs. And I get this asked often when I've done UI tutorials, and I thought I'd show it. So we've got a drop down, which you can press the slider, do some customizations, and then when you select part of the drop down, you can do a piece of code, which is going to then do something. I mean, in my case, it just changes another piece of text on the UI to one, two, three depending on what you've selected. This could be any code. This could change backgrounds, move custom settings. And I do have a tutorial on being able to control post-processing effects. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get this and over 165 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out all the links in the description for this month because I keep everything updated for you to get the best savings. So to get started here, I'm in Unity 2021.3 and this could be an early or later version. Sometimes I'll use TextMesh Pro. Sometimes you might use the default Unity UI text if you're in previous versions. Just in two cases, one you'll need to use TM Pro and the other one you will just using Unity Engine.UI. Now in here, I've just got a canvas with a piece of text on it, which I just right clicked the canvas UI and choose text with text mesh pro. And you can see I've got a number, so nothing special. Then if we just select on the hierarchy, choose UI and then just choose drop down with text mesh pro. You can see it here and it's really tiny. But what I like to do, hold shift and just scale this up slightly. And then I'm going to put this to my middle. I like to select my label and just increase the size of it. You can then adjust the text. So I just like to centralize it. I'll make it bold. And there is an arrow here, but I need to change the size because it's tiny. So I'll just do it 100 by 100. So you see now you've got your option A there. On your drop down, you will have options for whatever you can set. So I might just call this option one and then i will name this option one two three so i can rename them like that i can add another option if i wish and then your template here is something which is how you want the rest of your drop down to look so on your template and then you can pull it down vertically just so that you can have more options your viewport needs to be as big and your scroll bar also there so when we open out our viewport we've got our contents here and you want to make sure that your contents are actually bigger and fill out the whole of that box so for each item you can open up the item open up the item label and you can scale this up slightly like so we can grab the item and maybe i'm just going to scale this up and put the item back to the top here now when we close up our template and we just press play you can see that i've now got my options as by default here and we can select anything we want now if you want to change something or change a per one of those parameters when you select it on the drop down we're going to right click in our project create c sharp i'm going to create a script called drop down example and once we've done that we can open up in visual studio and remember i will put all this on my patreon for you to get access to it so now we're here we can just get rid of the starting methods and remember this is just a pure example of how you could do this but we need to access the namespace of tm Pro. So what we want to do is create a public method which we can access from the drop down. So we can say public void drop down sample and then in here we're going to write a parameter which is the index for whichever one on the drop down we're going to choose and it's going to be an integer. Then we're going to use a switch statement. So if I press start typing switch and double press tab it will auto fill it for me but I'm going to change this switch on to index. It starts by default but what I want to do is when I click there it'll also create the break. I want to say that case zero, so officially the first case that we want to do or the first option we want to set to one. And then like in this case, it says break, you can actually keep break to one line. But now we might want to access the number that we wanted to change. So we can write in square brackets, serialize field, private, tmp underscore text. And we can just call this the number text. And then in the case that we wanted to set it to one, we can just say that our number text dot text is equal to in quotes one and add a semicolon because remember our text box is a string so we can't just force a number into there without it being specified as a string if you need to add more you can use case one and then you can say number text dot text is equal to two with the semicolon break and case two with number text dot text is equal to three because remember that it starts at zero. So zero is the first, one's the second, two is the third. Now, if we go to Unity and select our dropdown, we can add our dropdown example script to the object. You can add this on any other game object if you so wished, but it's looking for the number that we wanted to update. So we'll add it in there. Then we can add a new event to the unchanged, then add the dropdown example here. 
then in the method that we're going to look for, we'll look in the drop down example and the dynamic ball, which will be the drop down sample. And you can see that our value initially starts at zero, which is option one. If I set this to one, you can see it sets to option two. And also if I set it to two, it sets to option three because the value is always like that. Now, when we press play, you can see my option is option one, which is zero. Option two, which is two. Option three, which is three. If I go back to one, it will set it to one and vice versa, just like that. And remember in your script, you can write anything in here, which would be the logic for when you choose the first option, second or third, you can write anything in here, whether you need to change a background, a color, an image, something on your menu, your settings, anything. So I hope this was a nice little tutorial. Be sure to check out my Patreon because I'll put this and you can get access to over 165 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to come and check out all the links in the description for the best game dev savings and assets for this month. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and with massive savings on my website for all those assets. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Gene Pommy, Manus Berikas, Terence Conrad, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Topher Chambers, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, Ishikawa Takuya, Ron J. Hush, Thomas Merceleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Abyss Gaming, Marvin Church, Osame Abdul, Hoglan Nigan, Nafatun, Josh Huang, and Yaxis. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.